just walking down to the library and uh, it was a pretty modernish library i remember the green trim very very trendy this would have been a late 70s <clears throat> type of edition i suppose and uh <clears throat> this was the this was the library itself here let's have a a sticky bee this is the uh, the library and uh, it's kind of sad to see here because those were the, the port racks, you could put your bags there. And I remember doing German, doing German once in one of the, in the library here once. Mr. Williams was my German teacher. Quite a nice guy, Bernie Williams his name was. And the library now, it's kind of sad, all the books are gone. The furniture's gone. The whole place has sort of fallen into disrepute. It's all kind of fallen by the wayside, unfortunately, but it was a pretty nice library, great library. I used to come here at lunchtime sometimes. If you didn't want to do something, you could always sit, come into the library and read a few books. It was uh, pretty amazing stuff. It was, it was a nice library. Who was the, I remember the, I remember the librarian. She, um, she was quite nice. Always librarians tend to be <clears throat> quite nice people there. And uh, yeah, I remember that. I remember coming here uh, in many lunch hours just to, especially particularly when it was very hot, you know, you, you sort of, you come to the library and um, Interestingly enough, you had these stairs. It was it was kind of a a building, which underneath it had uh, it was just open underneath. It was quite a they hadn't built anything in there. It was just open. And uh, let's have a look. Can we? Is there anything? Oh, they put a little bit of a room here, but it's still pretty well open. And uh, this block right over here, this, this is the science block. And uh, I remember the science, these were science rooms. They had a photography, you, photography, they had a dark room you could go into. And I remember my first serious exposure to PCs was in that room there. So I came to school 1985. In primary school, they had an Apple IIe. There was an Apple IIe. I never even got to touch the fucking keyboard. And this was when computers were like the Commodore 64, the VIC-20, 64K of RAM on a VIC-20, on, on, on a Commodore 64, 20K on the VIC-20. And then the first decent PCs, we had Sperry's. Sperry PCs, twin floppies. They were an 8088, 4.77 megahertz, 8088. And uh, we had one, they had these big lockable cabinets that you'd, you'd open it, you'd take the keyboard out and you could, you could use it. Typing Tutor, I remember using Typing Tutor. What was the word processor? Perfect writer, perfect calc, and you could had printers. You had, you used to you had to flick the switch to your PC, and then you could print. Then later on, they had automatic would just print automatically. They were it was wasn't networked or anything like that. But this is where I had the first exposure to PCs. Sperry, they were green screens. I remember that green screen Sperry's, twin floppies. Oh, I used to. I remember they used to open this up in the lunch hour. You could come and use the computer room. It was always pretty. I loved computers. I really a Sperry, Sperry. That's right. That was Sperry's, Sperry, um, twin floppies, 
green 12 inch green screen CRT uh, no hard drive no hard drive oh no 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 and uh, they, they they also will go around the other way I'll show you where I don't really remember this being at that window because I was inside there but they uh, the computer room you'd always come here and, and you could do something some days the computer room was open in the lunch hour which was a lot of fun I, I I really like the that's where I got my first exposure DOS uh, word processing <coughs> I thought they were magic you could actually type shit up you could it was pretty that's it just in there and that was the the room right next to it was the had a uh, a dark room so this this was the science block this here was the the science block where the um, you go in through there to, to use the computers in the lunch hour and uh, that's right DOS Sperry's they were Sperry PCs twin floppies green screen CRTs uh, perfect writer typing tutor could use that and uh, perfect calc I think was the spreadsheet so it was pretty pretty um, the other, the other room, which was right next to it, which was a little bit modern, I remember Ms. had Mr. Stafford, or was, what was his name? And this was the art room. Art. I used to like art. That was a fun, really fun topic. This was the, the art block. And uh, unfortunately now it's all closed. It's, it's uh, Oxley Secondary College is closed. All equipment and materials have been removed, yes. So that's what happened there. So it's kind of sad. Kind of kind of sad to see this was my art room. Kind of sad indeed. And that was that was the end that was the other end of the music block. That was the end of the music block. I remember doing geography with Mrs. Schultz. That was the geography teacher's staff room there. I remember doing geography here. It was, uh, whew, that's going back quite a lot of years now. Geography of Mrs. Schultz. And um, the really cool block, this, this school was sort of built, I think in the 60s it opened this school late 60s mid 60s and um then they had a bit of funding in the 70s and they had a really cool really cool that's when they built the library and the english the english english building it moved and this was this was actually from the 70s this so was sort of that that's the the library over there resource center and at the same time they built that library they also built this was the the English <coughs> this was the English area here and uh, we never really I was only in I came to the school when I was in grade eight and nine and it was more for the senior students came here but uh, it was a new complex this would have been mid 70s early no, mid 70s mid 70s it was and i had a big ramp there. i remember thinking, what the fuck is the <laughs> ramp there i remember doing english with mrs bingham a couple of times in this complex here and uh, it's kind of sad to see it all gone to um all gone to waste I remember doing history with Mr. What was his name? Really nice guy, Mr. What was his name? Fuck! What is that? I remember doing history with. Uh, I can't remember, but uh, yes, this is this is the old school. It's kind of sad to see it gone completely completely gone to the uh it's i don't know i don't what could they have done here could they have done something else 
I mean, it's a bit of a homeless problem. Could you turn it into a drug rehab? You know, can you do something with these fucking, these buildings? They've got all this, they've obviously spent a fortune building this stuff in the day. It's, it's kind of sad to see nothing's, nothing's happened now. It's all abandoned, really. <coughs> Just abandoned and going to rack and ruin. It's very sad. Surely they could, they could do something with this place. Archie Luxury, looking at my old school.